Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to focus on a hip stability flow. Often in yoga we talk about open hips a lot, so today we're going to focus more around building strength in that area. So great one for all you hypermobile yogis out there. So without further ado, let's get going. So we're going to start our flow with a few sun salutations just to warm us up. So bring yourself to mountain pose at the top of the mat. Big toes touch like gap in the heels. Lengthen the arms down by the sides of the body and just draw the tummy in gently. We'll close the eyes here for a breath or two just so that we can settle in, get ourselves into the right headspace for our practice. So probably going to be here for about 15 minutes. So let's work nice and hard. Okay, bring your attention onto the breath. Start to lengthen the inhale and lengthen the exhale. Good, and then with your next inhale, we're gonna use it to circle the arms up to the sky. We're finding a prayer out there. And then bring that prayer down to the chest before you fold the chest over the thighs. Release your hands down to the ground. Take a bend in the knees if you need. Let's inhale to lift up halfway. Find a flat back and then exhale, refold. Plant your hands, step your right foot back, runner's lunge, left knee over left ankle. From there, the left foot joins your right into a high plank pose. Let's just pause here for a breath or two. Draw the tummy up and in towards your spine. And then we're going to take our first vinyasa, so lower knees, chest and chin come down. Inhale, slide onto the belly, lift your head and chest with an inhale. Good, exhale, float back down. Retuck those toes, elbows in as you shift yourself up and backwards. Find some length in the spine here and then go ahead, lift that tailbone to the sky and we'll meet in our first downward facing dog. So as it's our first downward, why don't we pedal the heels out? Good, bring any movement that feels good here. There is no right or wrong way to do this. Good, and then whenever you're ready, come onto your toes. We're going to step the right foot forward between the hands, left foot joins. Nice deep bend in the knees as you circle the arms up to the sky. Find a prayer, bring it down to the chest, release mountain pose. Inhale, arms come up, find that prayer. Exhale, fold all the way down. Fingertips come down. Inhale, lift up halfway, flat back. Exhale, fold, plant your hands, left leg goes back, runner's lunge. Good, right leg joins, high plank. So, knees, chest and chin, or maybe you're thinking about hovering the body down, either all the way to the mat or through your chaturanga. Inhale to lift up into your cobra, or maybe you're in up dog. Exhale, float back down, retuck the toes, take the bottom back towards the heels. Good, and then lift the bums up to the sky, downward dog. Again, bring movement if you feel like you need a little movement here. And then coming onto the toes, picking up that left foot, stepping it forward between the hands, stepping your right foot forward to join your left. Nice deep bend in the knees as you circle the arms up to the sky, find a prayer, bring it down to your chest, release mountain. Good, we'll do one more on each side. Inhale, arms come up. Find that prayer, bring it down, fold over your legs. Fingertips come down, inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold. If you want to step it to right, then left. If you're jumping, both feet can go back to your plank together. Good, and then lowering down, knees, chest, chin. Or maybe hovering. Good, inhale, up dog. Or cobra, open that chest. Good, exhale. Downward facing dog. Good, bring any movement that you feel like you need. And then if you're stepping, it's right, then left. If you're jumping, both feet float to the front of the mat together. Nice deep bend in the knees as you circle the arms up to the sky. Find a prayer, bring it down to your chest, release. Mountain, good, getting warm now. Inhale, arms come up, find that prayer. Exhale, fold it down. Good, fingertips come down. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, fold, plant your hands. Step your left, then your right, or maybe you're jumping. Both feet back to your plank, lower down, knees, chest, chin, or hover. Inhale, up dog, or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, take a few breaths, bring any movement that you need. And then if you're stepping, it's left then right. If you're jumping, both feet float towards the front of the mat together. Nice deep bend in the knees, circle your arms up. Find a prayer, bring it down to your chest. Release mountain. Good, I should have said I'm actually doing this in the heat, so that's why you might see me sweating quite quickly. <laughs> Good, from our mountain pose. Inhale, sweep your arms up alongside your ears. Exhale, sit your bottoms down, chair pose. Good, squeeze the glutes. Can you sit a little deeper? 
Make sure the weight is in the middle or towards the back of your feet. Now bring your hands to prayer at the chest. You're going to inhale to squeeze the glutes to lift and then take your right leg out to the right side. Nice and steady with control. Good. Bring that right leg back in. Sit your bottoms back down. We're doing this four more times. So squeeze to lift. Good. Right leg goes out. Bring it in. Sit down, chair pose. Good. Squeeze to lift. Take the right leg out. Good. Bring it in nice and steady. Take it down. Two more. Squeeze to lift. Float your right leg out. Nice and strong in that standing leg. Last time. Sit down. Good. And then float that right leg out. Perfect. Feet you back in the chair pose. Good. And then from there, we'll float the hands down. Walk or step back. Just walk or step. Step or jump. That's what I mean. Into your plank pose. Good. From here, we're lowering all the way down onto your bellies. Roll onto your left side. You can support the head with the left hand. You're going to stack the legs. And then from here, we're inhaling to lift this right leg to the sky. Exhale, bring it back down. So it's not really about how high we're lifting here. It's about lifting with control, with intention. Good. We're doing five. So I'm not sure how many you've done. I reckon I've done three. So two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Keep drawing that tummy in last time. Perfect. And then from here, we're going to roll on over onto our back. Good. Shuffle your feet in. We're going to find our ways into a bridge pose. So tickle the back of your heels with your fingertips. That's a good position for your feet. Imagine that you're squeezing a brick between these inner thighs. And then inhale. Roll up. Good. Once you're up there, let's float the right leg up to the sky. And then we're going to lower and lift for five reps. So lower the hips down. Inhale to squeeze and lift for five. Good. Lower down. Squeeze and lift that left glute, four. Good, three more. Keep going, looking good, last two. Good, and final one. Really squeeze the last one. Good, bring your foot down. Catch a hold behind your thighs and start to rock and roll forwards and backwards on the spine. We're gonna do three rolls and then we're gonna come up into our chair pose. So if you need to cross the ankles or we'll use the hands do so. The easiest way to do it, or the trick that I find, is to get your heels as close into your bottom before you attempt to stand up. Good, so we're back in our chair pose. Good, and then we'll inhale, squeeze, float the arms down, mountain pose, good. Just come a little bit closer towards the back of your mat, and then inhale, sweep your arms back up, exhale, sit your bottoms down, chair pose. Let's pause here for a few breaths, squeeze those inner thighs together. Reach up and away with those fingertips. And then the hands come to prayer at your chest five times. We squeeze to lift, float your left leg out to the side this time. Bring it in, exhale, sit down. Inhale, squeeze to lift, take that left leg out to the left side. Bring it in, three more. Chair pose, leg lifts out to the left. Good, I've lost count but I reckon two more. Good, and if you come to my live classes, you'll know that I frequently get chatting and then run out, lose my way, forget how many we've done. Good, everyone loves me for it. <laughs> Sit down, reach your arms up, chair pose. And then float your torso over your legs, come into a forward fold, plant your hands down, you're stepping back or jumping back into a plank pose. Good, we're gonna lower all the way down onto our bellies. Roll onto your right side, support your head with your right hand. And then five times up and down with this left leg. Inhale, lift, exhale, lower. Good, that's five. Good, don't worry about how high the leg goes. We're just trying to lift and lower this leg with some sort of control. Good, last two. Awesome, last one. Brill. And then from there, we're all onto the back. Good, we're gonna make our way back to that bridge pose. Shuffle the feet in towards your bums. Then inhale, roll up into bridge. Good. From here, we're going to float our left leg high to the sky as we lower and lift for five repetitions. Lower the hips. Good. Inhale, squeeze to lift for five. Good. Lower down. Inhale, squeeze, lift for four. Good. Lower down. Squeeze and lift for three. Nearly there. We got this. Two. 
Good, and last one. Nice, bring the foot down. Catch a hold behind your thighs, start to rock and roll. Forward and backwards three times. And then we're gonna try and come back up into that chair pose. So tuck your heels nice and tight into your bottom. You use your lovely strong core to come up. Nice, and then from chair, inhale, lift up. Exhale the arms down by your sides. Mountain pose, good. Make your way a little bit closer towards the front of the mat. And then hands come onto the hips. We're gonna balance on our left leg. Good, so squeeze everything in that standing leg. Send a message to your big glute muscle to help it to start working as you inhale to float your right leg straight out ahead of you. Good, exhale, bring the leg back down. Four more times. Inhale, we lift. Good, exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Lower, good, two more. Draw the tummy in, keep those hips nice and square, nice and steady. Good, after the fifth time, you're gonna float the leg out behind you and come into a little balance here. So like a baby warrior three, really, hands are on the hips. You're not hinging forward too far, so we're really more working on the strength in that left leg, not too focused on taking the leg too high. And then whenever you're ready, we're gonna step Place that right toe, the right toes back. Good, coming into our high lunge. Take your arms woo, up to the sky and then up and down five times. So exhale, good. Lifting and lowering, bending the back knee. Good, that's four. Good, lower, three. Good, two. Nice, keep reaching high with those hands. One. Nice, release your hands down to the mat. Step back into your plank pose. Good, from plank, lower your left knee. Pivot that foot out behind you, come onto the inside edge of your right foot, extend your right arm to the sky. So a modified side plank. And then from here, we're gonna to inhale to lift and lower this right leg, so that's one. Good, inhale, lift for two. So you should feel this working, it's kind of like the outside of your right butt cheek, muscles that help stabilize us, stabilize those hips. Good, two more. Good, last one. Nice, bring yourself back into a plank pose before you lower all the way down onto your bellies. Roll over onto your backs. Good, recenter yourself on the mat if necessary. Coming up into your bridge pose. Good, float that right leg up to the sky. And five times we lower and lift, so go for it five. Squeeze to lift, good, lowering for four. Good, how high can you lift those hips? Three, good, last two. Good, last one. I'm working the glutes, the biggest muscle in the body will get a maximum calorie burn too. Yay, everyone's a winner. Good, bring your right foot down, hold on behind your thighs, rock and roll for three, for two. For one, we're coming up into our chair pose. Good. Nice, and then inhale, squeeze the glutes to lift. Mountain pose. Okay, hands come onto the hips. We're nearly there. Good, so bring your weight into your right leg as you inhale to float that left leg out ahead of you. Bring it down. Lift for four. Good, and down. Lift for three, relax those shoulders down away from the ears, draw the tummy in. Lift for two. And final one, this time we float that left leg as we hinge forward slightly. So keep the hands on the hips, just a delicate balance here, so you're really feeling that work into your standing leg. Holding three, two, one. Good, float those left toes all the way back. Good, find a nice stable position for those legs as you take your arms up to the sky for your high lunge. And then exhale, we lower the back knee. Inhale, lift four more. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift, good. Three more. Good, last two. Nice, last one. Good, from here, float your hands down, step back into your plank pose, lower your right knee, pivot the foot out, roll onto your right hand. Inside edge of that left foot, oh, I'm sweating now. Good, left arm to the sky, and we're floating that left leg up and down five times. Five, good. Four, it was a bad idea to do this in the hot studio. <laughs> Three, two, 
One, good, come back into your plank pose, lower all the way down onto your bellies, roll onto your back. Good, center yourself as necessary. Bring those feet in, and then roll up into your bridge pose. Float your left leg up to the side, then we lower and lift for five repetitions. Let's go for it, we're nearly there. Lower down for five, squeeze to lift, good. Lowering for four. Squeeze and lift, lower for three. Nearly there, you can do it, lower for two. Amazing, I'm with you, lower for one. Good, squeeze and lift, good. Hug the knees into the chest. Have a little rock around, side to side, massage off the lower back. Good, so that is our mini glute stability, hip stability flow. So you can take a nice, Quick Shavasana here if you wish, or spend as long in Shavasana as you like. Or you can repeat that flow a few more times if you have the energy, if you have the time. Wonderful. But otherwise, if you have liked this little video, this flow, then please hit like. Please subscribe to my channel. If you fancy joining me for a live class on Zoom, that would be amazing. And all the details are below the video. Um, but yeah, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, whatever you are doing. And I will see you back on here soon.